What then brought you to Davis? Well, I had spent quite a bit of time at this point uh, in formal work, and while I was at Illinois, I was the assistant track coach. And at that point, I thought to myself, uh, it was interesting, uh, sometimes very dramatic to be involved in coaching and sports. Mm -hmm. We were very successful. We won eight Big Ten championships in a period of nine years. But at the bottom line was I was not going to set off on a career that depended upon the idiosyncrasies of 18-year-olds. So I went on to uh, accept a job offer from UC Davis. And UC Davis at this time was just developing its uh, system-wide, excuse me, its campus-wide programs. Mm -hmm. College of LNS had been apparently uh, officially sanctioned about 1957. The Department of Physical Education was in that college and was developing uh, towards a major and created a major. And I came here to UCD in 1962 at the very beginning of that. Mm. Human Performance Laboratory. Say a little about that. Yes. Uh, at Illinois, I had the good fortune of being there in the period when I was doing my research that Illinois uh, actually built a new biology building, physiology building. It was a state of the art uh, in terms of an environmental complex. It had a magnificent complex of uh, labs, uh, residential sleeping areas, diet kitchen, so forth, so on. And I had the opportunity to calibrate four environmental chambers mm -hmm. under the watchful eye of Dr. R. E. Johnson, so I knew how to do it. Uh, when I came here to Davis in 62, they were just in the process of building the new addition to Hickey Gym, which is no longer a new addition. And they had uh, uh, done a very nice job of anticipating space for a laboratory. Because, as you well know, the University of California expects people to do research. At that point, uh, they had set aside 5,000 square feet, but they had no idea what to do with it. I did. Uh, and I proceeded to uh, beleaguer our chair at the time, Dr. Kovacic, with an opportunity to go ahead and begin organizing it. And uh, in, in a word, I used my experience, I used my uh, understanding of how to do it from the University of Illinois to create essentially uh, in model, a uh, general model, the a laboratory that was uh, like the one at Harvard. And may I just take a moment to talk about that major. The major in physical education on the Davis campus uh, was a, required a solid academic preparation. For example, a major in PE had to take a foreign language, had to take a basic array of courses in the sciences and in the humanities, mm -hmm. and then uh, not unusual and certainly uh, common today concentrated on the biological sciences or biomechanical sciences at the, at the upper division level. This was roughly what was in place, but it was a, a very poorly uh, am, amalgamated, uh, almost eclectic uh, course structure was in the it, curriculum. Was it even a major at that time? Yes, it was, was a major. No master's degree, no mm. graduate degree, but they did have a major. The interesting thing about the major was that we at UC Davis never required any activity courses for our mm -hmm. uh, majors in PE. They were elective entirely. That was very unusual. I found that interesting. Clear example, the fire department at a UCD campus had never hired a female. Well, as I looked at how they went about determining the uh, physical abilities for uh, valid candidates, 
I was moved to tell the chief that, are you trying to establish a minimal work standard or an Olympic team? And uh, there's no question that a woman is not going to outperform a man of uh, 6'4", 240 pounds in heaving, hauling, climbing, and and just plain all muscular wherewithal. But is that really necessary? And that was the key. So once you establish what was critical to the job, what minimal physical abilities one needed, then one could set the standard, and then one could defend that standard to legal challenge. And legal challenge, it turns out, the expert there is the experienced work person. And research in this field. Well, let me preface that by saying that when I got here, the campus had 4,400 students. The town was a quaint 8,600. This is 62. Today we have 29,000 students, and the town is still quaint and folksy. Uh, the university is very complex. We now have a school of law, school of medicine, a graduate school of business, and an extraordinary growth in various majors. And uh, all of this makes for a lively competition for students' time, students' interest. And in the field proper, physical education has grown from a semi-quantitative science to a program that is as biologically uh, rigorous with physical and biological preparations as any. In fact, it now uh, is a a program in the Division of Biological Sciences. Our students are educated in the same curriculum, preparatory curriculum, as all other uh, biological science students. The graduate study has become, is tending towards reductionism. Uh, as is it is in other fields. Our latest hire is, in fact, someone that deals with molecular aspects of exercise. I see this trend will continue to grow, but I also see that it will have, the pendulum will have to come back and be uh, interested in and focused on the broader macro aspects of the health, growth, aging of man performance. and with an emphasis on performance and the uh, the uh, general surgeon surgeon general I should say his report of uh, healthy people 2001 and 2010 places an emphasis on that I think we have a major role to play in that uh, the addition of the biomechanical uh, developments as they pertain to exercise and performance are very critical to what a major today and a graduate student has to be able to cope with.